Hey, this is Diablo Killer 124 and today I'm going to show you how to create a moving character on Flash. As you can see, I have one right here and it moves left and right. So let's start by creating a new Flash Action Script 2.0 file by going to File, New, Flash File, Action Script 2.0. Just double click that or click OK and select how you want it. You can do a brush or something or you can just go to your tool which is usually on rectangle tool just click hold click and hold down on the rectangle tool and click the oval tool or whatever tool you want to use and then hold shift for the rectangle tool or oval tool and drag which makes a perfect circle mine will just be like that and after you've made that um, click on the selection tool or press V um, select your circle, right click it, click convert to symbol, make sure the registration is set to the bottom, bottom middle, and name it anything you would like. I'm just going to name mine character, click OK, go to properties, go to its properties by going to window, properties, uh, right there, and name it character and then we'll go to the timeline by going to windows timeline window timeline and we're going to create a new layer by clicking this button right there double click on the new layer which is layer 2 and name it anything you want I'm just going to name mine action script because that's what we're going to be doing in and then select your actions frame which you can do by going to window actions or just pressing F9 and we'll do speed equals 8 and then we'll do function after we do speed equals 8 function space right movement um, two parentheses one to begin and one to end a bracket we'll press enter we'll do character dot underscore x space plus equals speed and then we'll press enter again and then we'll do an ending bracket and we'll name we'll do another function so we'll do function left movement um, two parentheses again a starting bracket and this time we'll do character dot underscore x minus equals speed instead of plus equals speed and then we'll press enter and then we'll create another ending bracket and we'll just click this button right here which is auto format so it makes it look neat and then we'll press enter once or twice after we end the bracket and we'll type in character dot on enter frame space equals space function parenthesis end parenthesis bracket if key if parenthesis key dot is down parenthesis key dot left two end parentheses um, bracket starting bracket oops and then we'll do left movement movement okay sorry and then two parentheses one ending and one starting and then <clears throat> we'll press enter and then we'll create an ending bracket and we'll auto format again because it looks messed up and there's an error here somewhere Oh, we need to make two ending brackets, I'm sorry. And then auto format it. Press enter. And before you do the ending bracket, you'll have two ending brackets just like this. And you'll be between them both. So now we'll do if key, parenthesis key dot is down, parenthesis key dot right, two end parentheses, a bracket then we'll type right movement um, parentheses one starting and one ending and then we'll type an ending bracket and then we will press control we will press control enter or command enter I believe it is for the Mac or we'll just go to control play oops control test movie and now you'll see you can move left and right. 
So what speed is? Speed is how fast you move and when you enter it here that's how fast it moves the character. So let's say you wanted to set speed to 1 it would move like this and if you wanted to set speed to 100 it would move like that really fast. So and then right here this is a function when this right movement function is called it'll execute whatever's in the brackets which is character underscore x which sets its x position to plus meaning it goes over to the right to the pixels speed which is 8 and then same for the left movement and then this is when it when you press a key like if you press the left key it'll call this function which is this and when you press the right key it'll call this which is this um thanks for watching i'll have plenty more tutorials soon uh, please rate subscribe and comment thanks